super secret mission for you. Head over to the new taco shop on Main Street and buy me a taco. Can you out? Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Let's start with a staple, the burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. This here is... Now to just... Now that you've got your first taste of crafting, let's dig in. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell? Have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history with a selfie. Okay, let's never do that again. I love this place because you can craft whatever food items you want. <laughs> and just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. Somebody call for a fast pass? Are we doing this or what?
leave us be! We're sowing chaos! Yes, leave chaos to chaos. Oh my god, I have so much homework tonight. The library is closed and I need to study. You screwing around too much? Bet you are. Okay, but no screwing around. Well, okay then. <gasps> okay, now don't go screwing around. I'm waiting for Mathletes to start. Okay, sure, I'll take a pick. <laughs> Yay! Sure, I take like 10 selfies a day. Tomorrow, eh? Oh, hi, you're the new kid, right? Oh, great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid, it's it's really simple. When uh when you want to talk about your sex, you simply you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm I'm a boy or a girl or other. <laughs> Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now uh, uh, ad identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short, okay? So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and, well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love, even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. Okay? <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime.
up. Well, well, well. If it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. I'll whoop you like your daddy never done. Yeehaw! That settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. Nice work. Now excuse me while I go throw up. That's going to leave some scars. Don't just take that lying down, butt boy. You're burning like that Bible bush. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Ow, my nose. It's about to smell like burning in here. Appreciate it. Super Craig to the rescue. Suck on this. <laughs> They're huffing and puffing. I think you got to them. Of course I did. Go fuck yourself. Wah. I don't even want to fight these guys. What if I get contact drunk? Don't be scared, bug boy. It's just a little taste of your future. <laughs> Them grits looked a lot better going in. <laughs> My tube-like mouth parts are a gape in amazement. Dude, dial it back. Ah. Ouch for you, dude. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah. Not gonna cry, not gonna cry. Oh, I'm up? Okay. Super Craig. Mega Pump Hut. Good to go, and so is my bug jar. Crash fun. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. You've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out. Need to get somewhere for fit, 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 fit quickly. Righteous. Catch you later. Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, new kid. Come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? 
Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Speedster. Brutalist. Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. Speedster. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Brutalist. Speedster. A sense of urgency is also an important trait for superheroes. Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. Brutalist. Speedster. A brutalist. All bronze, no brains. A good choice for you. Can you punch hard enough to be a brutalist? I don't know. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror, You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. As a super strong brutalist hero, you cracked your knuckles and prepared to brawl. You met the intruder's mocking words with a swift, brutal bash. Knocked backwards, the intruder's head spun. Damn, what are you, some kind of superhero? Weakly, he retaliated. You had him on the ropes, but then two more ne'er-do-wells entered the fray from behind. So you turned around to face your new foes. You charged yourself into them. Your wrecking ball like inertia sent one intruder tumbling into the other. Arr! I'll take care of the kid, fellow ne'er-do-wells. The first intruder ran into the fray, boxing you in, right where they wanted you. We've got you right where we want you, kid. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, superhero? But it was you who had them, as you executed a powerful blast from your bowels. Fled, the biggest, ugliest intruder moved in closer. He threw his fist into your body, but with each hit, he only unlocked what lies beneath. Something totally brutal. <laughs> yeah, that he's sweet, man. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. 
Security friends alert! Security friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! Security friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pals! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! No time to waste, butto. This way, butto. Toward the bus stop. It's a quicker route. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. A confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. God damn it! So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you by people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! Deal with these assholes! Today is the last day of the rest of your life. Taking a blood sample now! Dude, you are trying way too hard. <laughs> That's some nasty shit, dude. I am a wonder tweak! Champion of justice! What? That's gay. Uh, 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 wait, I'm confused. New kid's gonna kick your ass, Freedom Pals! Somebody wake me when it's my turn. I'm up? Okay. You cross paths with the wrong immortal fourth grader. Car! Car! Get out of the street, friggin' kids! Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear. Here I go. I got left the camera pal. Vector calculations complete. Attack sequence engaged. Ah, taking that on our 
toxicity. Super best friends. Let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. I will right wrongs and triumph over evil, and that means you. Wait, me? This on your coosie crap. It's my turn to get fresh. Up for a tornado! Oh, you think you're still on the right side? Yes. Good to go, and so is my bug jar. Correct spot! Yeah. Nice work. Now excuse me while I go throw up. Too. That's going to leave some scars. Ever get the feeling life is punishing you for being a dick, Tweet? No! I'm up! I'm up! Ah! Ah, Jesus, Tweet, calm down. No, you calm down! You're on the wrong side of this new kid. Ow! New 
toolkit. Don't let Cartman fool you. Good news, everybody. It's my turn. Tretno! Ah! Ow! Knock them into the bleachers. Spread the itch. Bug bite. Yeah. Are we done here? Code. Oh shit, come on! Code, what happened? Timmy got away? He. he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Need to get somewhere f f f f f f quickly. It's good, good going, new kid. Catch you later. Fuck you, mom. Ah, there you are, bud home. All right, let's get to work. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. Well, what girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito, but the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carmen, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom and- Stop, stop! This is not what's important right now! We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo! Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends! He's such a fucking idiot! It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later.
are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic.